guys and welcome back to my channel. So I have picked a bit of an awkward place to film so I do apologise but I'm doing a bit of a craft activity today. So as it's coming up to Christmas I wanted to put a little bit of me into my Christmas tree so I've decided to make really jazzy sparkly dinosaurs because I feel everyone needs some of those on their Christmas tree. So I've started this one so you can get the gist. You literally just need some toy dinosaurs, glue and glitter um, and you should be able to put some of these together yourself. So this is just a really fun activity. You don't need to be a certain age like here I am at 21 doing it but it's great for little kids if you want to do it with them and you can use all different colour glitters and it's just a lot of fun. So I've got quite a selection of glitters. I'm not sure I'll use all of them but I just picked these glitters up from TK Maxx just because it was convenient and I like having choice. So the first thing I'm actually going to do, this one I've already started the head but um, I've got these little screws because I don't have anything to hook the ribbon on to actually tie it onto my tree. So I'm going to try screwing a screw into the dinosaur and then actually tying some ribbon like around the top of it. We're going to see how this goes. So we're going to screw the screw into the dinosaur. So you're going to need a screw and a screwdriver or if you're smart you can get these screws that have a hook on the end already. But um, Emma didn't have those so we're trying to DIY something else. So I'm literally just putting it in the middle of the dinosaur and hoping this is going to screw in. So the screw worked perfectly in all of them but this one. I can't get it past there so I'll have to play around with this one a bit later. So we're going to use these ones first just because I know I can put some ribbon around these ones and hang them on the tree. Um, so the next step is literally smother them in glue and then smother them in glitter. I'm going to start off with this one here. So the glue I'm using is just this clear glue that has a sponge top so it's just really easy to apply it all over the dinosaur but you can really use any type of glue um, that you like you just need it to be able to stick glitter to it if you can't get the glue to go everywhere you want I would just have a little paintbrush handy and then you can just get it for instance around the screw so once you've got all the glue ready take your glitter and just tap it all over make sure you've got a board underneath to catch any fallout so you don't waste it but um, just put a large amount all over it just to make sure it gets really well and truly covered just like that and then we're gonna tip it over do the other side there you have what it looks like currently so you can still see a bit of the original colour coming through which kind of I think gives it a bit more effect so I'm just going to let this one dry a little bit before doing the head and collect up the excess glitter. This is the finished job so far so they need to dry um, but they look fab. <laughs> Like they're just really funky, um, they're a little bit messy but on a Christmas tree they'll look great. So we'll let these dry and then we'll put some ribbons around them. So I've let them dry overnight and they've turned out like this. So they're a little bit patchy in places but overall I mean I love them. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend doing two different colours of glitter, I think it looks a little bit messy. But for instance this one I think hasn't turned out too shabby at all and you can touch up the little bald spat uh, spatches patches just with some super glue and some glitter or just normal glue um if you want to make them perfect but i kind of like that they're not quite perfect so now what you need to do is you need to tie some ribbon around them to turn them into decorations so i've done this one already and i've literally just tied a knot round the base of the top of the screw um, and I think it holds it brilliantly and it will look quite cute hanging on my Christmas tree so I'm really chuffed how the screw worked out so if you don't have those weird hook screws I don't know what they're called um, they're kind of like the ones where you have the screw and the loop that's what I'm talking about but um, screws work fine and you can just tie it around the top so all you're going to need is some ribbon now so I've just chosen this nice silver ribbon and literally I'm just going to move my camera down and you're just going to tie it around the screw but I'll do one with you now all I'm going to do is taking my string, I'm just going to tie a knot around the head of the screw and then just pull it nice and tight. My ribbon happens to be elastic so it's a little bit more stretchy than normal ribbon would be but both work with doing this and then I'm just going to do another knot again just to secure that in place and then all you need to do is tie the two ends together um, and again do a double knot just to ensure it's not going to undo or a little bow, whatever you prefer. 
and just pull it nice and tight. Just like that. And there you have it a sparkly dinosaur Christmas decoration. So I haven't put my Christmas tree up yet, but these are definitely going to go on it. So I'm just going to do the third one and then we're done. And there you have it, how to make sparkly Christmas dinosaur decorations, because who doesn't love that? But um, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. Let me know if you want more sort of dinosaur craft activities or geology or fossils, whatever you're into. Um, and I'd love to make those. But thank you again for watching and I hope you enjoyed.